Nils Henrik David Bohr um, was born the 7th of October 1885 in Copenhagen. He was a physicist who has contributed to our understanding of a atomic structure and development of quantum mechanics. Niels Bohr was a well-known man. Many people traveled to Denmark to work with Niels Bohr. <laughs> he also had many discussions with Albert Einstein. Um, the, <laughs> the debates were a series of public disputes about quantum mechanics. Um, he also won the Nobel Prize in Physics uh, in 1922. Um, he got the Nobel Prize for his uh, service in investigating uh, the structure of atoms and the radiation <laughs> emanating from them. <laughs> he was married to the Dane, Margrethe Nørlund. Um, together they had six children. Uh, the first died in a drowning accident in the age of 18. The second <laughs> uh, was Henrik Bohr, and he was a doctor. The third was Erik Bohr, who was an engineer. The fourth was Ove Bohr, who was also a, <laughs> who was also a physicist, and he also got the Nobel Prize as his in March, June 1912, Niels Bohr was in Manchester at uh, Ernst Rutherford, the physicist that became his role model as scientist and as human. In 1911, Rutherford had published a new atomic model which described the at atom as a small heavy nucleus in centra cycled by uh, light rate electrons. It was Niels Bohr's great merit uh, to combine the new terms from the quantum mechanics with Rutherford's atomic model, and he proved that Rutherford's atomic model would be reliable. In April 1913, Niels Bohr completed in three articles to a philosophical magazine his life's most important scientific work, which made her world famous. He explained his theory about the simplest atom, the hydrogen atom. The theory built on the hypothesis that only certain selected electron trajectories existed in the nature, oppositely the Times theory that electron trajectories constitute a continuous quantity. In, uh, in 1913, it was a very daring claim that only separated quantum trajectories could exist uh, in the atom. During the World War II, uh, tried both the Allies and the Germany to develop the nuclear bomb as absolute weapon to win the war. The development of the nuclear bomb, also called the Manhattan Project, and the English scientist Niels Bohr um, had a great importance too. His scientific work of quantum physics and the atomic model was in fact the reason why the bomb even would be a possibility. He worked with the Allies um, during the World War II to, to um, develop the, the bomb before the Germans. But under the development, it began to be clear for him how damaging this bomb would be for the world peace. He was concerned that knowledge of nuclear weapons would be abused and therefore he believed that there should be openness among the countries to ensure the most possible peaceful world. He tried to convince and speak to leaders of the Manhattan Project but he didn't manage it to getting them convinced. Um, until he died he fought against the bomb and he was there for both taking part in to develop into the development, uh, but he was also aware of the consequences and therefore found that the atomic bomb shouldn't be reality.